Hello and welcome to the Route One Show. We're taking a look at FC Halifax Town now, and I'm delighted to say joining us from the Halifax Courier to discuss all things to do with the Shaman is Tom Scargill. Tom, thanks for joining us, mate. Hi, mate. You okay? Yeah, good, thank you. A little bit better than what Halifax are doing at, at the moment. I, last time we talked, they kind of just start to get into this really bad run, and it's continued somewhat. Um, latest, a 2-1 defeat to Southend last night. Yeah, it's, it's really showing no significant signs of um, turning round. Uh, I think last night was a bit of an acid test for them, really, in terms of have they got what it takes to launch you know, a belated playoff bid. They had it in the grasp, winning one at half time against a team who are in the playoffs but weren't really playing very well. Um, but second half, Southend really came out and, and grabbed the initiative and showed how much they wanted to win and Halifax just didn't come out second half at all. So, you know, if the, the evidence is just mounting up um, that the, the Halifax seemingly don't have what it takes to to finish in the playoffs at the moment. Yeah, and and I think it's been acknowledged, hasn't it, by Millington that actually you kind of got your you you looking over your shoulder, kind of downwards as well, because obviously that's that's tightening up a bit as well, isn't it? Yeah, the closer to the relegation zone and the playoffs, um, and teams below them have got a game in hand, so that is a concern. Um, you know, the, the, the FA Trophy run is is a real positive for the club, but if you take that out of the equation, uh, the league form has, has been a massive, um, massively underwhelming and far from what was expected or hoped for. Um, and you know, when there are uh, instances of, of one step forward, it's it's too soon, followed by, you know, at least one step back. Um, they just can't get any consistency. Um any kind of momentum and um, when you look at teams who are in the playoffs like South End, uh, Bar and Mud who have got on Saturday, um, you just can't see Halifax um, being on the same level as them this season. No, no. One kind of positive from the game last night, Harvey Gilmore, impressed you again? Yeah, he's been really good. Uh, he's flourished in central midfield this season and uh, especially the last few weeks with Luke Summerfield being out injured, who is their main kind of creative player. I think Gilmore has taken on that mantle really well and um, has tried to create things from central midfield. He works really hard. Uh, he, he was played at left wing back at Maidenhead last Saturday and, and did a really good job there. Um, he's quite a good talker. He's really matured as a player for me since he first joined the club. And um, he's at a contract in the summer and I wouldn't be surprised if there's maybe a bit of interest around him. So I think the club would do well to maybe try and tie him down because um, for me, he's, he's, he's kind of getting better and better as a player this season. Yeah, absolutely. You did mention Maidenhead there. It was the, the fifth round of the FA Trophy and Halifax did go through uh, eventually there. And that, that run of just one win in 10 games, excluding penalties, is kind of staggering. What did you make of the Maidenhead match? Uh, not a lot. Um, <laughs> <laughs> pretty dull, pretty scrappy, um, not much quality at all, um, real kind of slugfest. Um, and it was kind of heading for penalties long before full time. Um, and I think it kind of says a lot really at the moment where town's best chance of winning game seems to be on penalties. Um, they've got all the shot away in the quarterfinals now, which uh, doesn't look like an easy tie because all the shot are doing all right. They drew with Chesterfield uh, last time out. Um, so that. Maidenhead, uh, whether they can do that again at all the shot, we'll see. But that's where they are as, as a team at the moment, really. They're not really steamroller in teams and they haven't for a while. They're just kind of getting by week to week. And when they are getting results, they're kind of tipping them rather than being really convincing about it. Is it kind of even, you know, make you feel even worse, the fact that obviously so last season was how it went and then you've got this season which just has, has not been at any time any uh, you know it's not really looked like going anywhere I know there was that that, that period they had where they, they started to put some results together 
But it also makes it worse, doesn't it? When you, you know, last season when you know you had the excitement of where they were in the league to this season, it's just been night and day, hasn't it? Absolutely. Um, yeah, I try not to think about last season too much because it just <laughs> me in comparison to this season. But there was so much uh, optimism and excitement around the club. Um, it, it's strange, really. I've I've done a, put an article online today with Millington where he's talking about looking over their shoulders and mm. the R word. And I've not used relegation in compar in, in connection with Alfax Town for you know three and a bit seasons, which just shows what a good job Pete Wilde did and how the club was lifted from being an also ran in the league to you know well what we thought was an established promotion contender, but that that kind of thread has slowly been unravelled this season, and the kind of it looks like they're back to where they started before Pete uh, arrived. Um, which is really sad, um, but then also I suppose it shows that you know when you when you have a budget of Halifax's level in in the national league now, um, it's so so difficult to maintain that trajectory. Um, they managed it for three seasons, bob bobbing along uh, in the playoffs and bidding for promotion, but to sustain that over much longer than that is difficult because you you get your best players picked off. It's, there's a lot of pressure on finding replacements in this day and age. There's no secrets anymore. There's not really any hidden gems. Um, events have conspired against Halifax in many ways, but there's no doubt that you know the longer this season goes on, the more that last season seems you know a distant memory, really. Yeah, and in terms of Millington and his his performance in the role, I mean, all those circumstances you just kind of explained. Then it, you know it's. It, it, it sounds like a really tough job regardless, but has he done enough in the role or, I mean, how, how do you assess how Millington has done this season? Mm, that, that's the $64,000 question really, as, as the season gets gets nearer to its conclusion about Millington's future. Yeah. Um, you kind of come up with a different judgment every week really. And after the Oldham win, you're kind of thinking, right, that's something to build on. Uh, They've not turned a corner, but they could maybe go on and turn a corner and then they lose to Barney, unconvincing against Maidenhead and they lose at South End. So, yeah, it's in the balance, I would say. Obviously, David Buzzer must be the only one who can decide that. Um, he's shown no signs of, of wavering on his commitment with, with Millington. The fans, a section of the fans, I would say, maybe you know, it's up for debate how big that section is, but a section of the fans... Have kind of lost uh, their kind of um, trust or face, whatever you want to call it, in Millington. Um, there were chants of Millington out after they lost at Notts County. They haven't resurfaced yet uh, after Boreham Woods' three home games, which is going to be a massive litmus test of, of where things are. Um, but yeah, I, I think he's, he's, Millington has found himself in this position. This is maybe the, the, the third time this season where the pressure is, is really built and it's just whether it builds to enough of a head that uh, the chairman feels that he, he wants to take take action. Um, but that is that is the massive kind of uh, question mark hanging over things really is can Millington turn it round? Can he prove that he's got what it takes? Um, that's, there's no answer to that question at the moment. No. Uh, Halifax traditionally a club who kind of you know will back the managers for a long long time. I mean, I guess sacking culture. I mean, it, I, I teams quick to get rid of the managers at, at this level generally, or do they, they you know surely get more time than than divisions higher up? I think that's something that Bosworth, um is against is the short termism in football and the sacking culture. Is uh, there are exceptions where Darren Kelly was sacked after ten games a few years ago. Um, but by and large, she does give managers time. Um, um, so you just have to kind of keep one eye on it really constantly. Um, but th there's no kind of uh, noises to suggest that anything is imminent. Uh, all the noises from, from Buzzingworth when I've spoken to him and in notes have been fairly supportive and understanding that Millington has had a lot of uh, difficult circumstances thrown his way. Um, 
it's, it's, it's in the balance there. It's, I think it's a constant uh, judgment of the weighing scales really of these are the positives and these are the negatives. And it, it, if it comes to a point where uh, the negatives are far outweighing the positives, some fans would say that has been reached, uh, but it's, it's the chairman who will decide that. Um, but I think the FA Trophy run is in Millington's favour. Um, yeah. That's got the potential to kind of salvage the season the way it's heading. Um, yeah, it's a difficult one. Um, Bosom does have a track record of, of being patient and, and supporting his managers. Um, and he will want Millington to succeed. I'm sure he'll give him every chance. As I say, some fans will feel that Millington has had enough chances. Mm. Um, but it's very much kind of a game-to-game -game situation at the moment. Um, if they win at Boreham Wood, then it will be a massive kind of uh, relief of pressure on everyone's shoulders. If they lose, then it's going to pile more pressure on. So, yeah, on to Boreham Wood we go. <laughs> <laughs> and with their form as well, which you've mentioned earlier, I mean, what kind of prospect is that? Pretty bleak, I would say. Um, <laughs> yeah, they're going really well. They've, yeah, they've recovered. I would say from a, being pretty mediocre at times this season. I do like the manager. I think he's he's got something about him. Knows the league really well. I think they've probably made some signs that haven't quite worked out how they thought, but they're still in seventh place. Whereas the same is true of Halifax, but they're right down in, in 15th or whatever it is. Um, they haven't won their Halifax at all in their visits to Boreham Wood, which is pretty ominous. They never do well on TV and it's on BT Sport. Um, it's the third of three long away games in eight days. So all the omens aren't good as far as I'm concerned. Um, always a difficult place to go. Never get anything without having to work extremely hard for it uh, at Boreham Wood. Um, if they got a point there, I think it would be a step in the right direction. But on paper, that looks a bit of a tall order. And it's and it's a really busy period coming up as well, isn't it? I mean, can sometimes that be in your favour that, you know, if you get a bad result, you can get it out of your system and pick up points, you know, two or three days later? Or do you think it's, you know, they could do with that extra time on the, the training pitch? Yeah, I did ask Millington about that after the South End game um, because it did strike me that, like you say, it's a busy, I think this is the fifth of eight games in February and the squad is stretched. Um, they've got key players missing and I don't think any of them are going to be back for Saturday. So it's kind of the same again. Um, looking at it from my point of view, I would have thought that it might have, had, might have been a good time to have a, a week away from it and recuperate and recharge a bit. But Millington said, no, we want the games. We want Saturday to Tuesday. Um, but yeah, it is a chance for the players to go out and, and put things right, but they've had chances like that before and not taken them. Um, so it'll be interesting to see what changes. Um, I don't expect it'll be pretty uh, because they're not in the in the space at the moment where they're playing pretty football. It's kind of digging it out, scrapping it out, working hard, and they're really going to have to work very hard if they want something on Saturday. Yeah, we we need to start some kind of petition for penalty shootouts introduced into the league. I think it might get a few more wins that way. Get my vote. Yeah, yeah. Just just please help us out somehow. Good stuff. Well, Tom, thank you very much for joining us. If you've enjoyed the video, please give us a like and do subscribe to the channel for more Halifax Town content. Tom, hopefully we'll speak to you next week. Hopefully things will look a little bit brighter then, but we'll uh, we'll wait and see. Cheers, mate. Thank you.